train the muscles, not the joints. So welcome back to Natural Gallant Bodybuilding. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about my favorite leg exercise and why I like it. There are a lot of leg exercises that I like. I love leg presses. I love walking lunges, especially the walking lunges with the bar on your back because then you don't have to worry about your hand giving out or your shoulders giving out or your biceps or forearms giving out, you know, whatever. You know, you understand what I'm saying. I also love one-legged squats on a Smith machine or one-legged squats, period. Just normal one-legged squats. My favorite leg exercise to do would be leg presses because leg presses are, are nice and easy for me. Like, I really enjoy them. I find I get a nice pump in the quads and I find I can really concentrate on just focusing on the legs. I don't have to worry about lower back or stabilizing or any of this kind of stuff. But I do know that leg presses, for me anyway, aren't as effective as squats. So that's why squats is gonna be my favorite exercise. 90 degree squats too, because 90 degree squats are the right type of squat for my body. I had a day off yesterday after my multiple days of full body workouts. So today I just wanna do some heavy legs and see how that feels. And uh, I'm gonna give my chest an extra day off. I did three set, three days of pretty heavy bench presses. And I did some uh, inclines, well, was so four days of chest and row and everything. So I'm kind of resetting the body now. But one thing I didn't train super, super hard was legs. I did a good leg workout a few days ago uh, but my legs feel like they still have a lot left in them, so I'm going to push them today. I find with a 90 degree squat as opposed to any other squat that my legs give out first before my lower back does and that causes the legs to adapt, right? So this will be different for each person. So if a full squat's your favorite, I totally understand because if that's the right exercise for your body, then I encourage you to consistently keep doing that. That place right there? That place right there has the best mochas. Right there. So 90 degree squat's my favorite. Now, one of the reasons why is because with the squat, there's also hip extension. And when there's hip extension, there is hamstring activation. And hamstring activation with your quad training is not necessarily a bad thing because when those hamstrings activate, it helps protect the knee when you're actually flexing the quadricep. Right? So I find that this is the reason why I like compound movements for legs. I don't necessarily like doing leg extensions, although they look pretty. They're really nice as far as getting a good burn, but I find they're harder on the knees, especially in my case, for that reason. Now, your, your knees might be different. Again, this is not about the video of what you should do. This is the video about what I do. So in case you're interested in that, that's why you're tuning in. So this place is called Hemlock Mountain Coffee. So pretty good place. So if you're ever in Agassiz, come get a coffee here. It's actually better than, in my opinion anyway, a little bit better than Muddy Waters in Harrison Hot Springs. So it's pretty good. 
But the other thing is that this place is actually a furniture store, so they sell all this vintage and retro type stuff. So some of it's used, some stuff is new, like they sell candles and all this. So it's kind of a neat little store. So I'll give you a look if I, well, if they let me bring my camera in. I don't know if they'll let me bring my camera in. So this place is pretty retro, so you can see there's all these different types of things or whatever. I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that's for sale, some of the furniture and stuff. So another reason why I like squats is that you could put a heavy load on your back. And when you put a heavy load on your back, you also stimulate the entire system. Because remember, it's, it's a muscle and skeletal system. It's not just about the muscle, right? So some people think they can just work like, you know, ear extensors or something like that and then get an overall uh, adaptation. So sometimes you'll find if you do pure isolation work, you will not get the same type of adaptation as if you do overall compound heavy work, right? So I want you to do both. I mean, you do the isolation work and you do the compound work. That's the best way to get results in my opinion and it's also my experience. That's why I like 90 degree squats. It gives me a chance to put some really heavy weight on the legs, on the spine, on the overall system, and that does cause my body to adapt in a certain way. I find the next day, my chest even feels pumped from heavy, heavy squats. So there is some sort of systemic thing that goes on from that type of movement. Now your heavy movement might be something different. Maybe it's deadlift, or maybe it's a shrug, or maybe it's something different. But I find for me, the squat seems to be the sweet spot. It seems to be the perfect thing. Now I know squat's not built for everybody. So some people when they squat, they find they get nothing but joint pain. I highly encourage you to follow that wisdom of your body. If that's what's happening with you, then, then by all means do your walking lunge. Like uh, one of the subscribers on this channel, he does walking lunges instead of squats. I 100% agree with that because walking lunges are unbelievable for building legs. But in my case, I love the squat because it also helps me align my spine, helps me focus on firing all those muscles in the spine helps me get an overall system movement. It's kind of like my Olympic lift, I guess you could say, the squat. It's kind of like my Olympic lift, although it's a partial compared to Olympic lifts, but it helps my overall system work together in some sort of harmony. Now as far as high bar or low bar squats, I got a lot of benefit from low bar, but the one thing I would say is that low bar, you're gonna spend a bit more energy turning your elbows under and trying to keep that bar on your back. And at the same time, you're gonna use a little bit more hip extension because it forces you to bend over a little bit more. But even though you're bending over, it's actually a little bit easier on the lower back because once again, the bar is here instead of here. So when you bend over it, the farther away it is from your hips, right? The pivot point, the harder it is on your lower back, the more of your lower back you're gonna be using. So. Sometimes high bar squat is not necessarily easier on the lower back as much as some people might try to convince you of that. The only reason why they might think that is if they are capable of staying pretty much straight up and down and bringing their knees way over their toes, which my body type isn't capable of doing without extreme knee pain. So, so I find sometimes high bar squats are actually harder on my lower back. So yeah, that's my favorite exercise for legs, at least for results anyway. Favorite one to do is pretty much leg press, but my favorite one for results is the 90 degree squat. Four plates now, just four plates. I'm gonna go back down four plates. Cause I haven't been at 455 for most of my life. It's been a long time. Honestly, it feels like forever, like 10 years at least since I've been that heavy. So now I'm going back down to four plates. Just I'll do a few reps of that.
So thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturallandbodybuilding.com. If you want to support this channel, just go to patreon.com under Natural Land Bodybuilding, and the link is down below. Take care for now. Oh yeah, and share my stuff. Thank you.